Hi, I'm Kevin from Relax and Learn Guitar, where I teach folks who are 40 how to play guitar so they can relax, have some fun, and be part of a great online community. Today's lesson is a little King of the Road. Roger Miller, a great song, classic tune, just three chords in the truth here. I'll show you guys how to play it, then I'll break it down for you. All right, so here's King of the Road. I'm not going to snap my fingers to get started here. I'll just kind of hit the guitar to get in time here. Trailers for sale or rent Rooms to let 50 cent No phone, no pool, no pets I ain't got no cigarettes I bought two hours of pushing room Buys an 8 by 12 four bedroom I'm a man of means by no means King of the road Third box car, midnight train, destination Bangor, Maine. Old worn out suit and shoes. I don't pay no union dues. I smoke old stogies I have found. Short but not too big around. I'm a man of means by no means. King of the road. So you guys get the idea. The uh, there's a song or there's a key change in this song about halfway through, and you can uh, get really good at switching your capo to change the key if you like. I suggest that because you can just keep playing those same uh, three open chords from a beginner level and play the whole song that way. So that's kind of what we're going to talk about today. So to play along with the record, you're going to use a capo on the first fret. So once you have that on there, there are three chords that you're going to need to know for this song. An A, and I play that one as a mini bar chord with my index finger, uh, barring all strings 4, 3, and 2 on the second fret. You need a D, and you need an E. And I like this song for beginners because you can use this capo and use those three chords the entire song. So before we get into that, I'm going to show you guys the chord or the uh, strum pattern to use. So it's a bass down, up down, up, bass down, up down, up. When I say bass, I mean the bass or root note of the chord you're playing. So for the A, it's the fifth string. Bass down, up, down, up. For the D, it's the fourth string. And for the E, it's the sixth string. So for that, bass down, up, down, up. Starts on an A. We kind of kind of snaps his fingers, a little bass run in there to start the record. So it starts on the A after that, bass down, up, down, up. Trailers for D or rent, E to let sense. A phone, no D, no pets. I ain't got no cigarettes. So it's a A. And you can play the strum pattern the whole time through that. I think it just breaks it up, makes it a little more interesting if you have that E. I ain't got no cigarettes. I kind of just like stopping the E there and taking a little break. And I'm just kind of clicking the strings. It's very percussive. Uh, just mute your strings with your left hand. And you're going to basically bounce your strings off your metal frets. While you palm you here in the back to get that click sound. So you have trailers for sale or rent, rooms to let 50 cents, no phone, no pool, no pets, I ain't got no cigarettes. Just kind of like using that little technique there. You can do that at the end of each line if you want to. I ain't got no cigarettes, just like singing that too. 
So you have that piece, that's the entire song. The um, If you use this capo on the first fret, you can get by with these three chords the entire song. Do the nice little click there to break it up a little bit. And then on that, uh, the end of that second, uh, basically the chorus, about two hours of push and broom by sun, eight by twelve, four bit room, mama, man of means by no means, king of the road. I just kind of like doing this here again to kind of break things up, king of the road. And that's just uh, palm muting, so you're finding a sweet spot in your guitar back here by the bridge to get the tone, but you're still muting the tone. And it's uh, two quick ones on the sixth string open. Use your index finger on the sixth string second fret, and then your ring finger on the sixth string fourth fret, and back to that A. use the clicks in between uh, and alternate the clicking with that little bass run up there. I just think it makes it more interesting. Now when it comes to the key change you can get really good at king of the road and then you want to move your capo up one fret to the second fret and that way you can still play these same three chords A, D, and E but now you can hear they all sound different because you've moved your capo up and you've changed the key of the song. And you can use that for the entire, for the third verse, uh, the refrain, the chorus, and the outro. I know every engineer on every train, all the children and all their names, and every handout in every town, and every lock that ain't locked when no one's around. Click, 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 make it interesting. <laughs> And uh, that's how the, pretty much the entire song, so uh, play with that capo, it's a fun one to go along with, um, a fun one to sing along with, I should say. And you can kind of throw in these two little tricks here, the clicking and that little bass run to make things more interesting. So that is King of the Road by Roger Miller. Hope you liked it. Uh, if you did, press that like button. If you'd like to get more lessons like this sent right to your inbox, click the link in the description and head over to relaxlearnguitar.com. Sign up for my free lessons. Be sure and subscribe to the YouTube channel here if you haven't done that yet, and click the notification bell. You'll get notified whenever I put out a new video lesson, and I'll see you guys for the next one. Thanks for watching.